FlexiSpot told me this can hold up to 355 pounds. Okay. Oh. Hey everyone, so today's gonna be a little different. This is gonna be a vlog, which I have not done in a long time. I'm gonna be getting a new desk today. Finally, after two years of using this same desk setup, I am switching it out. And so FlexiSpot, who is a sponsor of this video, kindly is sending me one of their E7 desks. I'll get into that a little bit later in this video. Before the FedEx man gets here, I need to get all of this out of the way. I need to break down this desk. I'm gonna leave this one here, even though I'm gonna have to stain it because the new desk I'm getting is a darker color than this, but that's okay, I'm gonna leave that there. But I need to get to work because I have a lot to clear out so that way I have a blank canvas for when the desk arrives. Let's get to it. Everything's over here completely unorganized. The rest of the stuff can just chill here. Now I need to get this sucker out of here. I just posted on Instagram to hopefully sell this thing. So if I can sell it, that would be great. That way I can get out of my way and uh, get a little money back for it. Okay. okay. This is just a little bit bigger than I was expecting. That's fine. That's fine. We're in business. In a span of 30 minutes, um, the desk arrived. Somebody picked up the old desk. Shout out to Corey Mayo for buying that from me. And now we've got all of this space to work with. So let's get to it. But not yet because now it's almost five o'clock and I have a dinner to go to. So this is going to have to be delayed until Alright, so it is the next morning and I am finally going to build this desk setup. I had to go out and do a bunch of stuff last night. Couldn't get to it, so today's the perfect day because one, it's Saturday. Two, California is actually flooding outside. And three, I got nothing else to do, so may as well spend some time in the office. So this is the dark bamboo option. Looks really good. I know what I'm going to have to do here next is once I get this set up, I'm gonna take this apart, I'm gonna sand it, and I'm gonna stain it because you can see here, obviously different colors. That's not gonna fly, so once I get this set up, I'll probably go to Home Depot today and get some stain for that. Also, I just, this is what it looks like most of the time in here. It's not always as fancy as the videos you see that I post. Oh, hey, look, here comes the flood. That's nice. This thing being bamboo is pretty crazy. I've never had a bamboo desktop. It's so light compared to like actual wood. Instead of boring you with all this, I'm just gonna go to a time lapse, build it all, and then I'll show you the desk once it's finished. Spot told me this can hold up to 355 pounds. I mean, it feels pretty dang sturdy to me. Oh, yeah. Check this out. All right, let me just run you through the specs of this desk. We have the Flexi Spot E7B, 71 inches by 35 inches deep, which is incredibly deep. The last desk I had was only 25 inches, so it cut off about here come down here we've got the flexi spot buttons here we have our up and down control we have a child lock which is nice so if you have a child they can't press this and make it go up or down good safety feature we've got presets here right here we have stand sit which is just easy to navigate it also has power on the side which I really like it's always nice to have an extra power source conveniently located on your desk all of this runs under here we have this nice cable management tray for all of the 
cables of the motors, which is huge because oftentimes those cables are hard to, to hide and you have to add them to your cable management, which there's already enough cables for your desk setup. Here's the height minimum down here. The website says 22.8. This says 23.8. So maybe that's including the desktop here, but the legs themselves go incredibly low. I've never seen a desk that actually drops this low. And then our max, I believe, goes up to 48 inches. So let's send this all the way up and see how it looks. There we go. 49.4, so 48 inches plus the desktop. This would probably be my height. I'm six feet tall. I am pretty impressed with the quality upgrade of this overall. The last Flexi Spot desk that I had was from like 2020 or 2021. And it was like, okay, but it was definitely like a budget desk. This does not feel like a budget desk at all. It feels solid. The legs feel solid. The build quality overall. I like the new um, controls that they added to this. It looks really nice. Um, I like all of the features that are in there. So yeah, I'm very impressed with this. I'm gonna start setting up everything and kind of getting the setup in order. All right, another day has passed. It is now Monday morning and I'm trying to finish everything up before I leave for LA in a couple hours. I spent way too much time last night trying to cable manage this whole setup. Stain is done. It doesn't really match this necessarily, but I'll figure this whole thing out maybe at a later date. I need to finish up the cable management down here, get this set back and then everything should be good. So I'm gonna finish all of that and then show you the finished product. So here it is, the brand new desk setup. I'm really excited with how it's turning out. I love the extra space that I have on the front of the desk. I think it's gonna be very helpful for me. So let me just run you through this real quick. We have the Flexi Spot dark bamboo color. This is the E7, 71 inch by 35 inches. We've got my two monitors here, 32 inch BenQ monitor, the LG Dual Up monitor, which is not a new addition, but new to the setup. I'll go over that in another video. And then we have the peripherals, of course. I just added this DaVinci Resolve micro panel, which I absolutely love. Keyboard, mouse, this is the Magic Keyboard. This is the Logitech MX Master 3. We have my mic that I record all of my videos with. This is the Shure SM7B with a Stealth Coda preamp on it. Highly recommend that if you're using one of these microphones. Then we have the Edifier. S2000 Pros. To our left, the computer, Mac Studio with the M1 Max. This is the 48 terabyte hard drive array that I have from OWC. It's the Thunder Bay 8. That's sitting on top of this Husky workbench, which I obviously stained. If you've seen my older videos, you know it was not that color originally. This is the Ergo Chair Pro from Autonomous. And there you have it. That is my updated desk setup for the beginning of this year, at least. Very excited with how it's looking. There's still some things I need to do to it. This thing is going to, of course, evolve throughout the year as it always does. This is really awesome. Thank you again to FlexiSpot for sending this desk to me. I'm very excited to use this in the coming year. But I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of vlog style setup video of the desk. Next video coming up, I'll have a couple more kind of based on this desk, a couple more desk setup style videos. But if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about this desk setup. I will see you all in the next one. Later.